Hi, I'm Liz Kay Miller and we're here in the Limnus Lease Woodland at the Watts Artist Village uh, setting up the installation Forest Listening. For the 2019-2020 Surrey Hills Arts programme, I've been one of their featured artists. So uh, last summer I spent almost every rainy day in Blackheath Forest which is just east of Guildford in the Surrey Hills and I was there recording the rain from inside forest puddles, inside tree hollows and, and from beneath the ground. And Blackheath Forest's got this sandy forest floor. So one day during a, a huge rainstorm, um, I recorded um, the rainstorm from beneath the forest floor using uh, two hydrophones. These are microphones that can be submerged in water. So the perspective of uh, the soundscape is from beneath the ground, a sort of non-human shift to maybe what a worm or a tree root might hear. Back in the studio, I analysed that field recording of the rainstorm using a digital rendering called a spectrogram. And with a spectrogram, time runs along the horizontal axis and frequency or pitch runs up the vertical axis. And I combined that with patterns that looked like rain on a window pane to give the image visual reference. The blue colour that you're looking at is a cyanotype photographic process and I decided to make the imagery using that for two reasons. The first is that traditionally cyanotypes were used well into the 20th century by uh, architects and engineers to reproduce uh, diagrams and drawings in the form of blueprints. And the second reason is that Anna Atkins was the first person to use the cyanotype process to record her botanical collection, things like ferns and seaweed. So both of those uses really fitted with this project, with my interest in diagrams and drawing and with my investigation of forest flora. The combination of the field recording of the rainstorm and the visuals that were made from that recording evolved into the outdoor installation Forest Listening. The cyanotype prints were remade as outdoor canvas banners. Slices were taken from the cyanotypes and enlarged to human size. And you'll see that there are four different shades of blue. The darkest blue canvas banners are for the loudest sounds that you can hear, the close, loud raindrops, ranging down paler and paler through into the light blue for the lightest uh, and quietest raindrops. Last summer, Forest Listing was installed in Blackheath Forest in the location that I made the recording of the rainstorm. We hung the canvas banners around the lowest canopy branches of the Scots pine tree and visitors could walk in amongst the visuals listening to the soundscape of the rain. I'm thrilled that the work has now been shown at the Watts Artist Village. Limnus Lease is a really magical woodland and in this location the listening experience can be much more personal. You can listen to the Rainstorm soundscape by downloading it from the Surrey Hills Arts website or through the Smartify app on the Watts Gallery website. By hearing the soundscape through your own headphones, you can go on your own listening journey. The winding woodland tracks in Limnus Lease are perfect for installing forest listening. We've spread the banners throughout the woodland for this installation. I hope that the artwork will emerge like hidden gems from among the trees.